Secrets. Now to work on my cookies and cream Oreo video. It's a nice afternoon. I got my nice hot, hot cup of coffee. Let's get this done. Dope. 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 I forgot I hate coffee. Oh, you'd think I'd remember that. Okay. Alright, I gotta... I gotta fix this. I gotta make this better. Alright. Got some, uh... A nice imperial stout here. I'll just add a little bit of that. There we go. And then, uh, what else do I have over here? Oh, I got a little... Let's throw a little splash of bourbon in there. Let that get all mixed up. All right, this should be delicious. Nope, nope, nope. That was a terrible idea. Oh God. Oh, why did I think that would be a good idea? And right now is their Sidemo or Sidmo. It's a coffee stout brewed with chocolate and aged in a bourbon barrel. And it is so good. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna go get some more of that. All right. So this is Hardy Woods Barrel Series. This is a rotating uh, series of beers and ales that they've aged in bourbon barrels. And the one they have out right now, or the one that they've most recently had out, is their Sidamo, Sidamo, Sidmo. Mm. Uh, it's basically, uh, it, it is an imperial coffee stout aged in bourbon barrels. Um, I know I've seen the word Imperial Stout pop up a couple times, and I had to look this up myself to see what was going on. Long story short, Imperial Stouts are basically just stronger stouts. Um, most will come in around, most normal stouts will come in around 7 to 8% ABV. Most Imperial Stouts will start coming in around 8 to 12%. Um, and a lot of those that you see coming out are bourbon barrel or aged in some sort of alcohol barrel. Um, you also know you're in for a real treat with this because it's got this fancy cork on the top. Now because it has this cork on the top, that means I will be putting aside my handy bottle opener. And for something like this, I usually like to get a towel involved just to kind of help out a bit. There we go. Much like the quad hop, I picked this up at the store that I work at. It's a little place called Taste. It's a local sandwich shop, and we try to bring in a lot more uh, local items, which is why I suggested looking at your local shops for things that you might not be able to see at some of the bigger chain stores. Case in point, I had not seen this product until we started carrying it, which I thought was really cool. The other benefit that we had over a uh, big chain was that we have our own personal little glasses, which is always fun. So this is what I'll be using today to pour my Hardywood Sidamo, Sidamo. And like the quad hop, you want to pour it a little slower. Because as you can see, it likes to get nice and foamy. And look at that. That is beautiful. So you see you're getting the nice uh, darker head, uh, almost a light brown. And it is just very smooth and foamy at the top. And I think as I mentioned in the last video, you get a lot of very rich flavors with this. There are those dark chocolates from the uh, malts used in the stout. You get a little bit of the uh, roasted flavor and the acidity of the coffee. And then you get some nice uh, vanilla notes and a little smoothness from the bourbon. Very, very good. 
The label is pretty nice, but it's not anything too special. It's got the barrels on there to let you know that you're drinking a barrel-aged beer, but I really wish it had a little more color to it. That quad hop had a nice pop of green that drew your eye in, and unfortunately all this has for color is the lettering down at the bottom. However, if you look at the bottom, you see that it includes all that information I really like, like the IBUs, this one also sitting around 55, which tells you it has a bit of a hop bite to it, but not too much to detract from everything else going on in the beer. It also has the ABV on there. This one's sitting at 10.3, a little higher than the uh, quad hop. So as you're working through this, you're going to get a really good buzz going. What I do like, and I didn't point this out in the quad hop, is on the back, there's a pretty good long explanation as to what exactly you are getting in the beer. A very nice touch. Once it's poured into the glass, like I said, it is beautiful. It is dark in color. The head is nice and foamy on top and just an off brown. When you start thinking of a stereotypical stout, what that would look like in a glass, that is what you get from this. Like I said, you get some very rich flavors in here, which I really enjoy, and you'll find in most stouts, imperial stouts, and porters. The only real drawback is that it means you'll be wanting to take your time a little bit more with this, and uh, coming in such a big bottle, it's going to take you a lot longer to get through it. Like I said last time, I highly recommend inviting a friend over, or if you've got something that will help you preserve the beer, make sure you have that ready because you'll probably be working on this for a little while. Unfortunately, the price is a little bit higher for the product, and there are two very good reasons for that. First of all, you're getting it in a much bigger bottle than regular product. Secondly, this one has been aged in a bourbon barrel. Anytime you get a barrel-aged beer, it's going to run a little higher in price, because there is an added cost for the brewers to get the barrels. However, just like the quad hop, I think you are really getting what you paid for with this product. <clears throat> As for the uniqueness or any sort of X factor, unfortunately this is a little lower, just because almost everybody is doing a coffee stout at this point. However, I have given them a few extra points for doing the bourbon barrel aging, because again, like I've said, I loves me anything aged in bourbon barrels. Overall, I think this is a really good beer. I do wish it came in the smaller 12 ounce bottles so that you could pull one out by itself, enjoy it, and have the rest saved for later. However, if you have a way to preserve your large open bottles of beer, whether through a stopper or some sort of sealed glass, or if you've got people coming over that can help you drink it, I highly recommend picking this up. I don't know how much longer it's going to be on shelves though, as it is part of the rotating barrel series from Hardywood. The next one out I've seen on the website is called the Bourbon Barrel Crew. It's a quad ale aged in bourbon barrels. So if we happen to get that into taste, I'll grab it and make sure that I drink it and check it out for the sh for this series. Uh, meanwhile, if you've seen anything that uh, you think I'd be interested in or you want to see me try out, let me know in the comments. Um, make sure you hit like and subscribe. It helps me know that uh, you guys are watching these and enjoying these. And uh, I hope... Everybody just has a good evening. I have to drink some of my brain juice to get through this.